Hey guys, it's A Lot of Life with Joel, and today I uh, wanted to do a little quick overview on how you install the G5 mobile app on the iPhone and how you get it set up, and uh, also on the Apple Watch. Uh, but first I think I'll do a little update um, on, with my diabetes. It's going fairly well. Uh, I had a cold after the holidays, but it didn't affect my blood sugars too much. I did have a bad sight, which uh, turns out I think I had like a bent cannula, and so I kept doing like two or three times the amount of insulin that I normally would uh, for um, you know a certain amount of carbs and it was barely working so uh, I think after like the second third day I uh, second day maybe I started smelling insulin and I didn't see any leaking from the site but uh, once I changed it boom instantly uh, I was actually kind of I overcorrected so I went a little bit low because I was you know still tentative and thinking that I was gonna need all this extra insulin um, you know, I wasn't sure if it was a bad side initially. I thought maybe, well, you know, after my cold and maybe I'm, you know, haven't been active and maybe I'm coming off my honeymoon. No, nope, just a bad side. So anyway, um, that seems to go, be going pretty well. I did uh, start getting on the Beyond Type 1 app on the um, iPhone quite a bit, um, trying to help other uh, T1Ders, uh, giving them some info and also learning some stuff myself. So it's kind of neat. Um, and you can see I've got the hat. I'm rocking the drop, the Beyond Type 1. Oh, sorry. I think it's on this. There we go. Beyond Type 1, uh, rock the drop hat. So, um, so that's pretty cool. And I signed up for their snail mail program. So I got a really cool uh, pen pal I've been writing back and forth with. So anyway, um, just that was a quick update. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into uh, the little guide that, we're gonna, that I'm going to show you. So see you there. All right, guys, here we are. I'll walk you through the process of setting up your Dexcom system on your iPhone and your Apple Watch. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to the App Store. And we want to search for Dexcom. I've already got it entered, so there it is, first one. So we want to download it. Whoops. We want to download and install it. The Dexcom G5 mobile app. All right, we've got it downloaded and installed. So we'll open it. And so here we've got the um, login screen. So if you have a Dexcom uh, Clarity login. Uh, if you don't, uh, go set it up ahead of time and then, uh, or you might be able to do it through this process. I don't remember, but we'll see. All right, once you've logged in, we get to the start screen and it kind of, you can see all the dots at the bottom there. It kind of walks us through a bunch of screens. It kind of just um, explain how to, how to get it going, how to use it. We can kind of scroll through those. There's just an acknowledgement terms page. Double check with your meter. Don't take acetaminophen because it can screw up the number. Um, don't bring any, so don't do an MR, uh, MRI. Set your low alerts. Uh, so we'll do that now. Um, so I want to save mine at 80. I'll set my high at 180. And then uh, we want to send notifications. Okay, and we want to allow that so that way it'll notify us even uh, when we've got the sounds on vibrate. I understand. And then this goes through understanding about the transmitter, Bluetooth. All right. And then here what you do is you can either enter in your code, your serial number from the box that your transmitter came in, um, by hand, or you can take a picture of the of the actual um, barcode on the back. So I'll just enter it in, but um, I've had very good success with the, the photo. It seems to work pretty well. You just need to line it up correctly. But all right, we're going to skip the video on how to the tutorial on how to insert it. All right, and then it's telling us about. Um, that they had an update to the app so you can uh, add a complication to your Apple Watch that'll actually show you um, right on the lock screen or the home screen um, your trend so that's cool uh, you can see here mine's already connected and I'm at 98 
So that's pretty good. Um, one of the things that you can also do here is this is the settings. Um, and you can go in and manage your alerts here if you want a little more granularity. Um, I've got my urgent low at 55. You can do a rise and fall. I don't do that. Um, I do have my signal loss turned on, so if it loses signal, it'll let me know. Um, and then over here is the Dexcom share, which um, if you want to share your information with somebody else and they use the follow app. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I've already got my stuff set up, so we'll just go through here and it should automatically. There's my people all connected, so so all these people will get alerted when uh, when my <clears throat> when I actually I, and you can customize each person um, in there. So like I've set it so that they can see the trend graph and they can also um, they, and I also set like a a low that's a little bit lower than my low like urgent low alert because you know if they're you know somewhere else. Um, I don't want it going off all the time for them, but uh, anyway, so I've, I think I set it so if I go below 50, then it should alert them. So anyway, that is, so that is pretty much it when it comes to the phone. You know, if you want to, uh, when you need to calibrate, you enter your BG in right here, you hit the, hit the little meter button and you can enter it in. Um, this is if you want to track uh, carbs, insulin amounts, exercise, health. Um, you can create events and uh, I haven't used it, but um, you know, it might be a pretty cool way to track all your stuff. Um, and then what I want to show you, so we're, we've got that installed and working. So there's our Dexcom. Um, and see on the, on the new version of iOS, if you hold down, um, or I guess, I don't know, recent version, you get a little preview of it. Um, you can also add it as a widget to the quick view over here. So if we scroll down to the bottom and we go to edit, oh, it looks like it already populated because I've had it in here before, but uh, if we want to move it to the top, then we just simply go in here and see I've got it right there, Dexcom. So we just grab this one and drag it up to the top. So if I click done, scroll back to the top, and there we are. So if I've got my lock screen here, um, or if you're even on the lock screen and it, you, before you actually log in, you can just swipe over. Oops. And you can see your number right there. So it's pretty pretty nice that way you don't actually have to log in. You can see it real quick. Um, it'll also show up when you drag down notifications and then slide over. It's the same the same thing. So that's pretty handy. But what I want to show now is how you actually um, get it onto your watch. So there's a watch app here that we'll click on. And what you need to do is so when we downloaded it from the App Store it indicated that it also, that the app you're downloading is also good for the watch. So we're going to scroll down until we find the app down here, Dexcom, there it is. Click on it and see, show on Apple Watch. So we need to turn that on and it'll install it on the watch. So let me get my watch over here. So it's installing. And you can see I've got the Dexcom already, already there. Um, so it's installed. So what you want to do if you have, if you're setting this up for the first time, you want to come up to, um, to the My Faces area and scroll all the way to the right, and you'll see these modular ones. Um, and you can see I've created one here, um, and I've customized it, and I've set the center right here, uh, the middle, to my Dexcom. So that's how you can add that um, right to your watch face. And so when I turn this back on, you can see it's now reading right on the watch face there and it's showing an arrow straight over. And uh, if you just wanna go into the app, you just tap on it and then you can actually see your trend graph like you would um, if you were using the app on your phone. So anyway, that's a quick uh, sort of tutorial on how to do this. Um, you can, instead of going through the MyWatch app um, to set up your face and everything, you can you can do it within within the watch itself and you can customize it if you hold down on the um, watch face and go to customize then you can actually customize all the little modular pieces on the watch but it's probably easier just to do it on the phone so anyway i hope that was a quick and dirty uh tutorial on how to get this stuff going um i will show you real quick um 
I've got the follow app installed. So I'm following myself just to kind of show. And you can see me here, and it's and that's what it looks like for somebody else that's um, reading my um, my numbers. So anyway, I hope that was a good quick tutorial on how to set up and use the Dexcom system, the G5 system on your iPhone and Apple Watch. See you guys later. Bye.